Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats, where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms, and much, much more. So let's go. Hey everyone. So today we're going to look at another interesting AI visual, which is called decomposition tree. And similar to that visual that we covered last time, which was smart narrative, this also has some interesting AI features and we're going to explore how this can help you out. So let's get started. So what is a decomposition tree? Basically, it's a visual that lets you visualize data across multiple dimensions. It helps you aggregate your data and then enable you to drill down into your data. This can prove to be a valuable tool if you're doing an explorative analysis or trying to conduct root cause analysis. So when should you use this visual? Suppose you have a data set in which there is a metric and you want to identify what all dimensions or attributes are responsible for achieving that particular number in that metric. Okay, basically you want to do a root cause analysis. So in that scenario, you would prefer using a decomposition tree visual. This is how you implement this. The data set that I have today is the same data set that I used last time, the IMDB movie rating data set. And in this data set, I have a column called reviews. I want to identify what factors are contributing in getting us the sum of reviews that we're getting right now. So what we're going to do is go to the insert tab and click on this decomposition tree. Now in this view, you have a couple of sections that you can add your metrics and attributes to. First one is analyze. This is the section where you would drag in the metric that you want to drill down. Okay. In my case, I've got to drill down this review metric. Then there is a second section which says explain by. This is a section where you would add any attribute or dimension which you would want to check against the metric that you have added in the above section. I'm going to drag a couple of attributes from here. The order of the column that you drag in here does not have any impact and it will only have an impact on how it, sh it is being shown to the user. That's it. I'm going to show you what I mean. So the moment you drag any metric into it, it will show you the sum of that metric or the count of that metric, whatever aggregation method you, that you choose. And then when you drag in the explain by section, it gets added to this plus icon. Okay. So when you click on this plus icon, it will be shown in this drop down. So the order of column that you drag in the explain by section is impacting how it is being shown in this drop down. It will be shown in the same order. Okay. Other than that, there is no impact. Now, let me click one of them to show you how this view will look like. So I'm going to click title and it will split the sum of reviews into all the title which are responsible for getting that particular sum of reviews. Okay. And again, I can choose to click any one of them to drill down further. So this view in itself is pretty useful and showing us the factors or the attributes responsible for the number of reviews at each step. But as of now, we have not used any AI feature in this. We have just simply dragged in the attributes or dimensions that we want to drill down further into the data. But how do we use the AI feature in it? So let me show you how I'm going to cancel this out. Okay. By clicking on this cross icon. Now, if I click on this plus icon, there are two options at the top, which says high value and low value. The bulb icon here signifies that it has some AI capabilities in it. So let me just click on this high value here. Now what high value does is it considers all the available fields and determine which one to drill down, which will have the highest value of the measure that we are analyzing in, in our case reviews. Similarly for low value, it analyze all the fields that we have inputted in the explain by section and determine which one to drill down, which has the lowest value for the measure that we are analyzing. Okay. Now both of these are using AI features. Now I can continue doing this up until the point it covers all the attributes or dimension that we have included in the explain by section. Now the good thing about this is because this is an AI feature, it will automatically accommodate if your data changes or your data gets updated. Right now it's showing you a split down on the basis of certificate and then journal, then director, then title, right? But next time if the data changes, AI will automatically check and change the allocation of categories accordingly. Now, when you publish this view onto the Power BI services, you will be sharing this report or view with the user, right? 
and user will be in able to interact with this particular view by you know crossing this out and adding his or her own metric into it or choose to do something else right but what if we want to lock certain metric in this view and don't want the user to change a particular metric so let's say i want the user to have the flexibility of changing anything but this first metric which is certificate okay in that case you just go here and there's a lock icon here just click on this lock icon now when you publish this report and let's say i add couple of more values here now when you publish this report onto power bi services user will be able to you know cancel out anything but will not be able to cancel out this first metric which you have locked as a an author you will be able to remove it or unlock it but user will not be able to cool right this way it gives you a ai capability to analyze your data set and find root cause analysis for a particular metric and identify what all attributes or dimensions are the main factors in contributing towards that total metric it also gives you a amazing ability to present your root cause analysis in a beautiful manner to your audience cool right so i hope this was helpful that's it for today we're going to cover key influencers and q and a as well in upcoming videos so stay tuned for that if you are liking my content then please consider subscribing to the channel and i'll see you in the next one thank you